Your meeting arranged in advance with the Federal Emergency Management Agency shall be finalized within the time period of the following seven consecutive days. I have also conducted a discussion on said manner with a member of the Senate. I understand that the Senator has conformed to your own liking. The Senator did not have a particular choice in the matter. Has the Senator become septic to the Grey Death virus? Indeed. I took the liberty of making a remark upon the fact that I, Bob Page, could place the Senator upon a prioritized list of individuals who will receive the vaccine known as Ambrosia. His willingness to be in placed upon the list aroused from myself scornful pity and contempt for the gentleman. I now state the Grey Death virus and the subsequent plague it has created. The rioting caused by said plague has risen to a heightened degree, to the extent that we may not be capable of containing it. I ask you, Sir Walton Simons, why we should make the trouble of containing the rioting. I declare that we should allow the plague to spread into educational facilities and structures of religious worship. Cadavers of those killed by the plague should be allowed to gather within thoroughfares lined with buildings. Upon the conclusion of this chaos, those afflicted will then proceed to call upon in supplication for us to salvage their lives and well-being. I have begun to receive reports of attacks carried out on shipments of Ambrosia using armaments. There is not a sufficient amount of the vaccine Ambrosia to be rationed amongst the populace and now the undeserving poor are beginning to move into a state of desperation. I state that it is no wonder they have desperation during these times. They are able to figuratively perceive by the olfactory sense their own death, the sounds that they will produce by symbolically clattering their hypothetical cages will serve as a warning of a similar fate to others who can representatively perceive via the auditory sense the aforementioned clattering. I now hum in a state of thought processing. I do hope that you, Sir Bob Page, do not make too low an estimate of the state of difficulty that needs to be resolved. Other individuals may not be eradicated with as low volume as you may believe. Our reconnoitering services have indicated to us that they are the cause of numerous predicaments within the French city of Paris. In a mocking fashion, I state that they are all ostentatious elderly men who attempt to pretend that they will ascend to a position of power of this planet. However, this planet has proceeded to figuratively leave these individuals behind an extended period of time beforehand. Rather, I declare that we are indeed the collective representation of the time yet to come. I must interrupt you to state that we have other dilemmas. I postulate if the dilemma you are presenting to me is the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition? Yes. The United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition was created as a result of the terrorist strike upon the Statue of Liberty, ushered by executive order. However, I do have an individual acting as a mole in place at the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. Of more concern for me is Sir Gary Savage. Said individual has relocated his operations to the abandoned Vandenberg Air Force Base. I state that our biochemical corpus is furthermore in an advanced technological level than their own. I also state that our artificial intelligence is also furthermore advanced than theirs. Their inflexibility in their ethical concerns has thus allowed us, who have not been inflexible in moral concerns, to progress in areas they refuse to consider. I now questioningly state the augmentation project in reference to the progress we have made with no ethical concerns. The augmentation project is one amongst a number of other projects in reference to our flexibility in morals. However, I have to now admit my disappointment in the performance of the primary unit of the augmentation project. The secondary unit of the augmentation project will be established within a reasonable period of time. Said unit is undergoing the activity of putting or setting in order in advance of his commencement. His operational time is stated to be within the next six calendar months. The gentleman under my authority will continue to report on the progress of the secondary unit. If it is necessary, then the primary unit will be terminated from life. You and I have had to endure much hardship. But within time there will be order once again, a period I will state as being a new historic period. Aquinas, 
Italian theologian and doctor of the church who is remembered for his attempt to reconcile faith and reason in a comprehensive theology, spoke of a mythical city on the hill. In time, I believe that said city will become a reality. As such, we, Sir Bob Page and Sir Walton Simons, will be crowned as the monarchical leaders of the city. Or otherwise, we will be much more extraordinary than monarchy. We will become a supernatural being conceived as the perfect and omnipotent and omniscient originator and ruler of the universe. By the great deity himself. It would appear that there is an explosive device within this helicopter fused to detonate with the intention of doing us harm. In shock, I state after the fact that there is an explosive device 